Hello everyone, this is Chris with the US Tech Channel. Uh, over the holidays, I picked up an HTC uh, One Max. I am an AT&T and Verizon Wireless customer currently. I uh, had one of my Verizon devices stolen, so I actually had that account uh, suspended uh, for a while, but I wanted to pick up the HTC One Max and it hadn't come out for AT&T yet. Uh, today, what I'm going to show you is how to get the HTC One Max. This happens to be, like I said, the Verizon version. Uh, working on AT&T. Now you won't get that uh, 4G LTE speed, uh, but it does cover most of the bands that AT&T uh, uses. You can see right now it is uh, on Verizon uh, Wireless. There's the uh, carrier logo. I'm going to go ahead and take off the back cover. and We'll go ahead and leave it off. I'll eject the SIM by pushing down and let it pop out grab my AT&T SIM, slip it in here. In late October we had heard uh, rumors that uh, it was coming to AT&T, FCC docs, and a lot of other uh, information. Unfortunately it just hasn't made its way. Now I don't know uh, really if the GSM International version would be a better choice for doing this. I believe since Verizon uh, was awarded spe certain spectrum from uh, the FCC, one of the agreements they had to make was to leave their devices unlocked. So there's, it might prompt you and let you know that there's a foreign SIM. Uh, that's what it did in the beginning. But I was able to blaze right through the setup, continue to set up my device, uh, even though um, it was a uh, foreign SIM. Um, it says right here, change mode, no network found. Select yes to switch to global mode or select no to stay in the current mode. Um, if you haven't done anything to your phone, this will pop up uh, normally. Uh, so you could hit yes and it would go into global mode and you wouldn't have to worry about going to the settings, hitting the mobile data part, not the toggle, but the mobile data part. And then going to preferred network and manually choosing global. So I switched it into global mode you can see now we're getting a signal. Let's go ahead and take it off of Wi-Fi. The next step is to get the data working. You can see right there it says AT&T. Now, let's go to GSM slash UMTS options. Go ahead and click that. Access point names. And I already entered this AT&T APN. If you don't have that, you're going to want to click the overflow menu, hit new APN. Go in. I have the access point from my uh, Note 3 right here. I'm going to go ahead and change that APN name. Instead of VZW Internet, I want it to say phone. I am using Swift key and not the stock keyboard. Let's go down to make sure everything else matches. MMSC, I entered it without the HTTP, uh, just mmsc.mobile.att.net. If your uh, picture mail isn't working, go ahead and enter HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. Now on the proxy, uh, multimedia message proxy, it doesn't have the HTTP. So it looks like on the MMSC we actually need to add that. It's just on the proxy that it doesn't have it. Go ahead and add that right there. Okay, let's keep on going. MMS port is 80. MMS protocol, um, which is the probably equivalent to authentication type. Let's just go ahead and uh, leave the MMS protocol on WAP. Uh, 2.0. MCC is 310 and MNC is 410. That's set automatically. Authentication type not set. APN uh, type. This uses uh, just says version 4. We're going to type default comma FOTA comma MAS comma SUPL comma HIPRI comma and MMS. This is uh, enabled and the barrier is uh, unspecified. Hit the overflow and hit save. And make sure it is chosen. 
you can hit the dots and choose a different uh, APN right there. Once you've chosen the correct one, go back and then test out your data. We'll go ahead and go to speed test. Reception isn't too good around my house. You can see we only get two out of like five bars here. Go ahead and do a speed test real quick while it's sitting on the table. Ping time of 80 milliseconds. And download speed of around 5 uh, megabits per second. Not to be confused with megabytes. Getting up till 6. It is 7.46 a.m. So it's kind of around the, uh, the rush hour time. So unless a lot of people are on their phones while driving, uh, there shouldn't be too much data being pulled from the networks. We are fairly close to a, uh, a major road here in Houston. Upload speed of 1.16 megabits per second. So if you're on AT&T and you really want HTC One Max, uh, you might want to look into grabbing the Verizon uh, version off of eBay or going into a retail store saying you're buying it for a friend and go ahead and pay uh, full retail there. Uh, I got this one on eBay for $580. Check the date on the, uh, the airing of this and you'll see that they uh, are really holding their value at this time. I just wanted to add this quick note at the end. If you're going to sell this device back to a Verizon user or if you're going to use it on Verizon again in general, you will need to probably go into settings. Click mobile data. Go ahead and make the preferred network back to LTE slash CDMA. Click CDMA options. Access point names. It will probably say phone right there from your last APN. And if it does, go ahead and click the overflow. Hit reset to default. And then you'll see internet and then uh, VZD, VZW internet. Go ahead and select that if it's not selected already and then test your internet again on Verizon. Uh, please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm just a normal uh, cell phone user like you guys but it's only through these uh, videos and you guys watching them that I'm able to afford these devices and uh, accessories. So thanks a lot for watching.